my god, we're going to Paris today. I'm not quite ready yet. Okay, so I just got hair ready. I did my skincare and I put on like the tiniest bit. I actually think you can see everywhere I put it of like the merit stick. Um, but I'm not gonna put on like mascara, any of that stuff, because I really don't want to irritate my contacts on a red eye flight tonight. So my flight is at 7.45, but our building is cleaning our parkade while we're away and you can't leave your car there. You'll get in trouble and you'll get fined. So I have to move my car today. I'm going to go park it at someone's house and then they're gonna give me a ride to the airport. Oh, touched my skin. If you are new here, I'm Morgan. This is gonna be a travel vlog, but I am like a chatty day-to-day -day vlogger and I usually share about my life in Calgary, working in marketing. Um, and so if you're looking for like a travel guide, probably not the one, but if you wanna come hang out and see what I see, come along on this trip. There might even be a few vlogs I'm thinking. This one like traveling there first day and then I'll probably do another one. So just want to set expectations if you're new to my channel. But yeah, I need to go and just finish up a couple small things. So I have a little bit of laundry going to finish that. And then I need to go buy compression socks because I feel like my knee, I've had a knee injury and I just like, it'll hurt. So this goose. I'm really excited though, but I am a little nervous and I had a moment this morning where I was like, maybe I just won't go. Maybe I'll just stay here. Who would know? I'll just like post a picture of the Eiffel Tower. But I'm really excited. Okay, this goose. I'm gonna go. I gotta go get compression socks, Advil, and then, um, and then finish putting my stuff together. I've still got like three hours before I gotta get going. I haven't eaten yet because I've been so nervous. So I just need to pull it together a little bit. But yeah, I'm really excited. Tomorrow I'm gonna be in Paris. It's so exciting. Okay, I'm all packed. This bag has my like little fanny pack purse crossbody bag in it. And then my suitcase is pretty full, but it definitely has some room like in case I buy a few things. And one of the things it's full of is a fold up duffel bag in case I decide to do a checked bag on my way back. Although I'm doing flights like between Paris and Copenhagen. So I'd also have to check it on there. So anyway, we'll just see what goes on with that. Um, and yeah, I just need to finish drying the pants I want to wear on the plane and then I will be ready to go. I'm really, really tired. I've been spending all day like cleaning and trying to just make it so that um, when Ben gets back, like the apartment's okay. And then it's also like set up for when I'm back. Anyway, so I took a little nap and I like just was starting to fall asleep and then woke back up. So anyway, I need to just get these pants dried. They weren't supposed to go in the dryer. They're like a knit pair of pants, but I really want to wear them for the plane. I know they'll be comfy and more like breathable than like a yoga pant or a sweat pant. So hopefully they don't shrink or something, but I'm going to just finish watering the plants. I've taken all the garbages out. Um, and then I need to do a little bit of my physio before I go. Ah! Okay, we're so close. This is the plain mm -hmm. outfit. This is an Uncle Studio sweater. And then I've got a Skims t-shirt underneath for if I get hot. And then I have on these awesome, they're JJXX. They're like a knit pant, a little nicer than a sweat pant. And I'm gonna be getting in at like noon. So I feel like that'll be better. And then I'll show you my coat and my scarf. Okay, and then this is the trench I'm bringing. It's from Dynamite. It's nice because it's actually relatively long on me and it has a material that feels like it'll be like not waterproof, but like maybe a little water resistant. And then I brought this scarf because it's like not fussy, it's not itchy and it'll do the job. And I'm wearing this right now with like the black pants, but I didn't bring any black pants except for a pair of capris in case it's warm. So I'm gonna be wearing this with like these cream pants I have and then a pair of navy pants. So that's the look. It's time to go. I'm doing one last scan and then I'm out of here.
place I've rented is super small because it's just me. Look at the nice moldings. Bathroom. This will turn into a bed and then literally just like a little kitchen spot, but it has everything you need. And this area already looks unreal. I'm staying in Pigalle and I'm really tired and I'm disgusting and I have like an eye rash right now, but everything is so beautiful. I need to get out there. It's like hot. If you watch the packing vlogs, you know I brought a lot of like knit pants, jeans, sweaters, because it says it's gonna be cold, but it is like 20 degrees and so hot. I forget that I live in such a cold place that I really don't know how the rest of the world operates anymore. I'm just like, oh, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my little capris on. I'm gonna rinse my face and put on like a little bit of like, I don't know, I gotta put on something, some sort of cover up, a little mascara, I think. And then I think I'm just gonna get out there and go walk around for a bit. Maybe walk down to, I don't know, we'll see how far I go. But I want to get in before it gets dark and it's about three right now. So it's like perfect timing. I'm already disgusting. So I might as well get back out there. But wow, it was easy to get here. I took a train from the airport and then I just transferred to a second train for one stop. And then I walked up here and like the walk was just like beautiful. I was a little nervous about the area. And of course, like, I don't know, I haven't been out too much, but like, it just looks beautiful. I'm really excited. I'm also just like tripping out that I'm here. Like I'm just here. Just started my day in Calgary and here I am. I don't know. But honestly, I slept for half an hour on the plane. I tried to sleep. It was a flop. I can't sleep on planes. You know what I think I realized it is? I'm not a back sleeper. I'm like a face sleeper. And so on a plane sitting up, you're kind of forced to like sleep on your back. And I can't do that. Anyway, so I slept half an hour. <laughs> Tell my eye bags, holy shit. That's what they look like. Anyway, okay, <laughs> very intense. Um, yeah, I got half an hour of sleep. I'm so tired. I've been up for like a, over a day at this point. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm gonna go put some stuff on here and then I'll be back okay i tried the capris and they were just not a vibe so we're just doing this i'm gonna do t-shirt it was too much like tight on tight and i was like i don't want to walk around like that so we're gonna do t-shirt because it's still quite hot go try to find some like food maybe i'm not that hungry though we'll see let's go wander around Having the nicest day. I'll fill you in, but it's so lovely here. back home oh my gosh i had the nicest freaking day okay so i like walked all around ignore my hand i'm pulling the curtains open i walked like all around this area so beautiful i didn't even so i'm staying in pigal i didn't even make it down to like the louvre which is like two and a half kilometers away so i probably only went like a kilometer and a half way i met the nicest girls and if you're watching this vlog um thanks for tuning in it was so much fun meeting you so I sat down at this cafe outside, I walked by it and then I like kept going and then I walked back because so I was like, ooh, there was like a nice vibe about that place. And I sat down and I was placed right beside this girl. We were like right beside each other. And I was like, I'm sorry to be like sitting so close to you. And she was French. She's like, no, it's Paris. Like we're all close. Anyway, and then we kind of did our own thing for a bit. And then we started chatting and then her friend actually came as well. And so the three of us hung out for like an hour or two hours. And then me and the other girl hung out for a little while. And anyway, it was just super nice. We might hang out again. So 
So far, I'm just like having the sweetest little time. Usually when I travel, I feel like a little unsafe or a little uncomfortable. And like when we were parting ways, she was saying like, I hope you feel at home now. And that like, you know, I get it when you're traveling alone. And I hope that this kind of made you feel comfy. And I was like, yeah, it did. Like I feel now like I'm like in the city, you know, and they just gave me so many ideas of things to go do and just like little things. Anyway, it's just so fun. And I can't take this hair seriously. But I had just honestly the best day and I didn't film it obviously. I don't like to film when I'm like hanging out with people but just know I sat for like four hours on a patio outside drink some Aperol spritz, they had wine and it was just like so lovely. And then I walked back and everything was kind of closed food wise except restaurants and I'm kind of tired. I haven't slept in like a day and a half. So I got like a little cold sandwich and it's cold and it doesn't look the best. We'll see. I'm hoping it's good, but it is like, it's not like a warmed up panini or something, you know, it's like a cold sandwich. But I ordered it fully in French and the lady fully spoke to me in French the whole time and I was pleased with myself for that. And then when I went back onto the street, um, a couple almost bumped into me and they were like, oh, she's sweet. And I was like, oh, whatever. I don't know. Anyway, it's just been really cool to travel somewhere where I can understand what everybody is saying, even though I can't like speak the language perfectly. And I don't know if I've like mentioned this in this vlog, but I did all my school in French. I did French immersion. So all of your classes are in French up until grade 10. So when you're about 16, and then you start taking some in English. So like everything I ever did was in French growing up, but then it's been years, probably since about like 2018, since I've had like French friends constantly in my life. So I haven't been speaking yet for the past like six years consistently. So anyway, it's just like really cool to get to under, like the I can understand it completely. It's just like the muscle memory isn't there. So anyway, it was just like really cool. But I'm gonna go eat now and get a little cozy. I might do a little rinse, try to figure out my bed situation. And honestly, I'm just like, I'm just over the moon. I'm having the best time and I'm so happy I did this. If you're on the fence boat traveling alone or taking a trip, like just do it and just give yourself that opportunity to embrace yourself and just like all the beauty that the people around you have. That's all.